how do you find whether a purchase order is raised against a contract so if you want to find uh, whether a purchase order is raised against a contract you can do that uh, in two method one is using a t code uh, and also uh, going to the back end table and look for the list of purchase order that has a contract uh, first well let's look at how to find it using a t code so for that uh, log it to sap and enter the transaction code me23n in the command field so this is the uh, like you know t code uh, to view the purchase order so here you enter the po number that is the purchase order number in the purchase order field and press enter so then uh, the po data will be displayed showing the general information material data and vendor data for the purchase order so what you do is uh, scroll down to the item overview section of the screen and look for the contract column so if this contains a contract number it means that the this po is raised against a contract if the contract column is empty which means the po uh, is not uh, uh, assigned to any contract or not raised against any contract so this is how you find it okay but if you want more information on the contract itself take the contract number and go to sap screen again and just use the t code me33k which is for display contract and enter the contract number in the contract field uh, and you can uh, view the contract information so this is how you uh, do it uh, using a t code so now let us look at uh, how you can find uh, the list of purchase order assigned to a, a like you know raised against a contract at a table level so why do i talk about table level most of the time is because uh, in this method of using the t code you can you have to find uh, like you know the purchase order number I have to put in and see whether the contract is assigned to the purchase order let's say as part of your work if you want to find the total uh, like you know list of purchase order that has been uh, raised against a contract uh, like you know we cannot take every purchase order number and just keying in so the easier way is to go to the table level uh, uh, table level in sap and uh, find the relevant tables to identify whether a purchase order is uh, uh, raised against a contract uh, generally like you know let's say if you want to calculate a, a kpi like contract utilization percentage so to arrive at that going to the table level is uh, more appropriate so now let us look at how we can find this at a table level so let me go to the sample sql i have data so what there are two tables like you know here uh, the two tables are like you know ekko and ekpo so what i'll do is i will select this so the contract number in ekko which is the purchase order header is stored in the field called konnr so if i say where konnr is not equal to blank and i would take uh, it put the konnr here so this would give us the list of contract numbers so now if you want to find uh, what are the purchase order number against this you can add in another field called ebeln uh, you can just get that so i'm just running both so this is the purchase order number and the contract is assigned to is uh, like this is the contract number so this is how you find um, whether a purchase order is uh, raised against a contract but if you want to calculate the contract utilization percentage so basically the percentage is um, if you see only 59 uh, purchase order has been tagged to a contract but if you see the total number of purchase order count distinct of ebeln from ekko is basically you will get the count 3149 so out of the 3149 
you see there is only 59 so your contract utilization percentage is uh, basically 59 divided by 3 to 49 into 100 so that's how you calculate the contract utilization percentage um so if you want to the same contract number is available in ekpo also so uh when i go to corner where corner not equal to blank so you would get the list of corner here so if you want to ebeln is the purchase order number ebelp is the line item number so you can sorry you can look at the list of purchase order number and the line item number and the contract it is assigned to so there is a contract line item also so you can just uh, use the field ktpnr which is the contract line item you would get the line item of that to contract so in case if you want to uh, find the contract information so you can just take the contract number and what you do is go to select star from ekpo where ebeln is equals to this one so this is the contract detail for ekko so you can clearly see uh, that the uh, uh, like you know type of contract is k i mean uh, the category of uh, purchasing document is k which is for contract so this is how you find it uh, i hope this would have given you a, a idea of how to find contract information from sap both uh, from a t code perspective and also from the table level Uh, I'll try and come up with another video very soon. So until then, have a good day. Thank you. Bye.